Hi everyone, my name's uh, Dave. Um, it kind of struck me um, that as we start to see an easing of the lockdown restrictions, um, that for many people, this might actually be a time of increased anxiety rather than a time of reduced anxiety. Um, you know, those who are being encouraged to go back to work, such as teachers, maybe worried about whether going back to work might, you know, increase the chances of them catching or transmitting and spreading the, the, the virus. And, you know, those who are currently furloughed, maybe worried about job security when the government reduces funding provided to employers, you know, with real fears about whether they'll be able to provide for themselves and their families, whether that is to pay the mortgage, you know, run a car, you know, or feed and clothe uh, themselves. Um, then of course, the others who've lost their jobs, um, who'll be worrying a lot about whether they'll ever find work again. And equally business owners who are kind of hanging on at the moment, who'll be worrying about whether their business you know, can survive in the medium or long term. Uh, and then equally, there'll be others with chronic mental health conditions, problems like anxiety, you know, who may have completely withdrawn from all forms of contact with other people, and who may be worrying and having panic attacks about how they will reintegrate back into society. So, you know, in all of this, you know, where is God and, and, and what does the Bible said Bible say about this? Well, we know that, you know, God made man in his own image and whether you're watching this and you've got faith or not, you know, he loves you. He, he cares for you. He knows every cell in your body, every thought in your mind and every hope and fear in your heart. Um, he wants us all to give our problems to him uh, through uh, prayer and place our trust in him. But what does the Bible say about this? Well, you know, when I read Philippians 4, 6 to 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Matthew 6, 25 to 27 goes on to say, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, nor about your body. What you will put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to a span of life? Now, I firmly believe that God has a, a plan for our lives and God's plan works for the good of those who, who believe in him. He wants us to trust him. He wants us to take our problems and worries and lay them at his feet. And he wants us to have faith that he will work a plan for our good. It may not always be obvious what the plan is or in the storms of life that there is any plan at all, but there is. <clears throat> We're lucky because God is the greatest problem solving machine that's ever and will ever exist. He's on our side. He's always with us. So take encouragement from that. Put your faith and trust in him and hand over your worries to him and trust him that he will work that plan to your good.